Hello and welcome to this demo. My name is Mumshad Manambat and this is a continuation of the earlier JSON path video where we got introduced to some of the basics of JSON path. In this video, we will get introduced to some of the advanced options available while working with JSON path queries. Let us use the same example that we used before. In this dictionary, we have two child dictionaries, car and bus, and each of them has two properties, color and price. To get the color of the car, we use the query $.car.color, and to get the color of the bus, we say $.bus.color. What if we want to get all different colors? For example, someone were to ask you to retrieve all the different colors of all the different vehicles available in your store, you would say, instead of saying car or bus, you could replace it with a star or wild card, meaning any. So your query would be $.star.color. Similarly, to get all prices, you would say $.star.price. So a star wild card within a dictionary means all or any property of a dictionary. Let us look at it in a list. In this case, we have a list of wheels. Each wheel is a dictionary that has a model and location. So this is a list of dictionaries. We know that to get the model of the first wheel, we would use the query $.of0.model. Similarly, to get the fourth wheel, we would say $.of3.model. But what if we want the models of all the wheels? Instead of specifying a position within the list, you could say star to say all wheels. Within an array or a list, using the wildcard star means all items in the list. Let us try to mix the two now. I have a dictionary of car and bus, and each of them have information about two wheels. I have removed the details about the other two wheels and their location to save space on the screen. The JSON document at a top level is a dictionary with two child dictionaries, car and bus. Within the car and bus dictionary, we have wheels, which is a list with information about two dictionaries, each containing model. To get the model of the first wheel of the car, we say $.car.wheelsof0.model. To get the model of all the wheels of the car, we say $.car.wheelsofstar.model. We replace the wheels position in the array with the star to mean all items in the list. Similarly, to get the model of all wheels of the bus, we say $.bus.wheelsofstar.model. To get the model of all the wheels in both car and bus, we replace the car and bus with a star to mean any. We say $.star.wheelsofstar.model. So if you're required to use a wildcard and if you're not sure, I would recommend following a step-by-step -step approach. As you can see here, if you were asked to find models of all the wheels in all the vehicles, you might have found it difficult to come up with this query directly the first time. So try to follow a step-by-step -step approach where you solve one portion of it each time until you can finally put it all together, as we did here. We first tried to find the model of the wheels of the car, then the bus, and then we were able to put them together by using the wild car. Well, that's it for now. Head over to the practice test and practice working with wild cards.